At the Oregon Health University, Jonathan Lindner is developing a new way to see the body using an unlikely tool, bubbles. Often when we're doing ultrasound of the heart, we're not able to see the detail that we need to make a clinical decision. So what we do is we make ourselves some tiny bubbles. We agitate this liquid, we inject it into the patient's bloodstream, and the bubbles make their way to the heart, and we're able to see with these microbubbles detail that we were not able to see before. Traditional ultrasound shows only the outlines of the heart muscles. Microbubbles light up the entire heart wall and can reveal damaged tissue. The concept is simple. Microbubbles act like tiny bells. When hit by ultrasound waves, they vibrate and emit waves of their own, revealing more detail. During the high pressure peak, they contract. During the low pressure troughs, they expand. And because of that, they essentially ring in the ultrasound field and produce very strong ultrasound signals. Engineering the bubbles is a science unto itself. First, Lindner mixes one of the body's fats with saline and dye. Then, he injects a gas into the liquid, activates a vibrating metal tip, and the bubbles form. In these magnified capillaries, you can see the bubbles flowing. A hundred thousand of them would fit on the head of a pin. In the future, Microbubbles will do much more than produce better pictures. They'll act like guided missiles. Lindner is learning how to attach genes and drugs to the bubbles. And with his colleagues, he's experimenting with a powerful ultrasound beam to deliver drugs to diseased tissue. In order for us to do drug or gene delivery, what we do is we load up the bubbles and then we use high ultrasound energy to pop the bubbles and drive our payload into tissue. So here you see bubbles in an artificial uh, blood vessel and we're going to strike them once with high power ultrasound and essentially destroy them. By bursting the bubbles on command, he's able to deliver drugs to tissue with pinpoint accuracy. The result? Smaller doses and fewer side effects. Microbubbles will change forever how we treat disease and examine the body.